Okay, a radar antenna emits electromagnetic radiation where C is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. You might be asking what on earth is C? Okay, um, C is a constant. It's the speed of light. Okay, the speed of light. And why, you ask, um, are we talking about the speed of light when we're doing electromagnetic radiation? Because electromagnetic radiation is what we call light waves okay so light waves especially visible light is only a small spectrum the light that we can see is only a small spectrum of the electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation includes microwaves gamma rays x-rays um, uv rays uh, infrared a bunch of other type of radiation and we can see light okay so that's why this is called the speed of light um, electromagnetic radiation travels at that speed and um, so the radar is admitted so radio waves what we use to um, to listen to the radio for example radio waves that's why it's called um, radio waves and or why we actually call it listening to the radio because it uses radio signals which is electromagnetic radiation okay and um, your antenna picks up the electromagnetic radiation and that transfers energy which is translated into information which is translated into waves called sound waves and that's what you hear okay so when we have a radar antenna that emits electromagnetic um, radiation it's doing it at this velocity and the wavelength of that wave is 67 meters okay and it's doing that for 1.2 seconds so the first question is what is the frequency of the radiation so we know velocity is equal to lambda times frequency wavelength times frequency in this case we have our velocity 3 times 10 to the power of 8 you can see that's a massive number the speed of sound is obviously incredibly fast um, or large the wavelength is 67 meters okay and it is being done for 1.2 seconds now 1.2 seconds don't feature here because they ask us what is the frequency of the radiation okay we don't need the 1.2 seconds for this frequency is calculated in this formula 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by 67 what do we get okay 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by 67 is equal to, and then we go 447761.94. Okay, so we're going to round it to a whole number 4477612. 4, man, I already forgot. 4, 4, 7, 7, 6, 7, Seven six one one six one two. I said okay. That is the frequency. I'm not done. I must include hertz. Okay, that's the frequency. How many complete waves are emitted during this time interval? Okay, so this is how many goes by per second. But we have one comma two seconds. Okay, so the number of waves, number of waves that pass by per second, per time, is called the frequency. Okay, that's what frequency is. Okay, waves per time. So the number of waves is what we want to go and calculate. So the number of waves that has passed by in this time interval I must go multiply both sides with time both sides with time and then I get this kind of form of frequency times this time that we're talking about here the 1.2 seconds gives me the number of waves that will pass by uh, a certain point at that time and we've our frequency is 4477612 our time is 1.2 seconds and our answer is 
So we have 4477612 times 1.2 and they said complete waves. How many complete waves are emitted during this time interval? Which means we ignore the comma. We don't round, we ignore the comma. And complete waves would be 5373134. Okay. 5373134. Five three seven three one three four waves.